The Port McDonald site requires a major dredging campaign to remove a sandy build-up in both the harbour and the mooring grounds at Port McDonald, and additionally to remove a build-up of seaweed from within the channel area adjacent to the boat ramp. Yeah, it's definitely overdue. We've had trouble the last few seasons accessing our mooring some days, and we are stirring up a lot of, lot of sand and weed and all sorts of stuff, so definitely it's important to, to be able to go out fishing. Or basically be able to go out fishing what we come here to do. It really does impact the whole town, how the harbour functions. Well the community is fishing in Port Mac. We're the biggest rock lobster capital in South Australia. Port Mac is also a tourist town. A lot of people come here for recreational fishing. It's something that we've been waiting for for a long, long time and we know it's a lot of money that's being spent but I think Port McDonald actually deserves it. The work at Port McDonnell is, is broken into two components. It has a channel work, which is involving the seagrass and, and kelp, and two being the area in the mooring grounds where we'll be dredging sand and re-nourishing the beaches to the east. And we've sort of been struck with this problem of having trouble getting to the moorings and all the sand and everything that's been stirred up and sucked through the engines and all those components aren't designed for sand. So to, to eliminate all that would be great. Dredging is due to commence in April. The dredging will be 24-7. Uh, that means that we can work efficiently and as quickly as possible in the tight time frame that we have for the winter schedule. A successful outcome of this dredging campaign will provide a, a good long-term outcome for both the fishing industry and community access to this important area. Yeah, I'm hoping it's going to be as good as I'm thinking. Like, have, have none of that weed in the water, have deep enough, you know, couple of metres of water underneath you to start with when you're on your moorings, it'll be great. It's going to be a huge benefit. It's been a long time coming and the difference is going to be significant. It's got to be better for the town. It's, it's, it's really needed and uh, I think it's going to be money well spent and people will see uh, the, the uh, benefits down the track. Not only Port Mac, for the whole limestone coast really, for all the fishermen that come here. It's a big relief, it's a big relief for all of Port Macdonald. So it's just great news, great news for the community.